everyone, it's Monday here at Craft Clutch, and that means it's Make Something Monday. And since Halloween's coming up, I have a Halloween craft for you. Now I have these gourds from last year that are all dried out. And I let them dry out, and then I bleached them and scrubbed them a little bit. And now they're all clean and ready to go. So this is what I'm going to be making my craft out of. And what we're going to be doing is aliens, little alien gourds. And you can make this with the bigger gourds too, or you can stick with the little ones. In this particular case, I'm going to work with the little ones. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to paint one green, one orange, and one purple. I should probably mention, like when this one dried, it split, but that doesn't make any difference. And then what I also did, because some of these weren't standing very well, I just kind of shaved off a little bit of the bottom so that now they will sit. Whoops. Now they'll sit. This one had a little trouble too. There. Now they'll sit all on their own. So you can do that, and I would suggest doing that before you paint it. Here are the gourds all painted and dried, and now I'm going to add on this one, I'm going to add some polka dots because he's kind of plain, and so I'm going to take a little bit of the purple. And I'll just kind of randomly make these polka dots with the end of my paintbrush. Alright, so I have them on there, and then I'm going to do a tighter bunch of them just around the neck. So then I'll just set him aside to dry. And then what I'm going to do is take the green and do little polka dots inside of the polka dots, and I'll just do that with my skewer stick. This one I'm just going to do little squiggles and I'm using a skewer stick instead of a paintbrush, kind of using it as like a pen. So I'm just going to put a couple markings or a bunch of markings like on his belly area and the green one I'll leave plain because he's kind of warty. Okay, so you'll see that. Now the next thing that I did was I took some craft foam. And all I did was on a big sheet of craft foam, and I only had white. So I decided I would go with the white, and I would take and paint them. And I will keep with the, th the same three colors that I've been working with. But I just cut out some very basic shapes, like for hands. I got a variety of hands and feet. And they're just very, very basic shapes. And now I'm just going to paint them. And again, I'm going to stay with the same colors that I used before. Okay, my little hands and feet are dry. But before I do that, I want to take care of this guy. And what I have done is I took two little styrofoam balls and I painted them with white paint just so that it's a little less styrofoamy. I mean, it still is styrofoamy, but it's a little bit less. And what I'm going to do is give him, um, those will be his eyes. Now you could just put them right on there and that would be okay. But I think I'm going to drill into here um, and attach them to a pipe cleaner. Okay, now I've done that. And I'm going to cut this in half. And I probably will shorten it even more. But this allows me to stick it in. And you can put a little glue in there if you think it's not going to hold well enough. But there is that. And you can leave them as antenna, actually, if you wanted to. But I really want to attach the eyes to it. So I think... Yeah, pretty good. Now I'm going to insert the pipe cleaner into the eye. I don't want it to come all the way through, like I just did. There, but they're secure and snug on there. There we go. Now we're working on the eyes. Now I am going to, I'm just heating up my hot glue gun mm -hmm. and mine are going to be sitting on a covered porch. If you're putting them outside you're going to want a different glue that will um, withstand the elements a little bit better and if you're putting them outside you'll also want to put some kind of a protective coating on there. Mine are going to be again in a covered porch so I'm not going to do that. Starting with this guy, we are going to attach the eyes. And this is his front, and he's going to be a little bit 
really close together with his eyeballs. I'm going to put a little glue on here and I'll press the eyeballs in and there are his eyeballs. And this guy, I have these orange eyeballs which happen to match the orange. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. Same thing over here. And now his eyeballs are in place too. And then we have this guy and we're going to go with little eyeballs for him or her. And these we're going to space out on the sides for a different look. And these are whatever your interpretation is of aliens. So here now we have this one. And I'm going to start gluing on the hands and the feet. This guy's going to have the purple. So I'll start gluing those on. And then the last one is this one. Okay, what I'm going to do now with her is I need to give her, I did drill a hole in the top of her head and I'm kind of just going to give her a little twirly thing on the top of her head. So I'm taking the pipe cleaner and I just twisted it around a thin skewer stick and I'm just going to pop it right in there and now she is complete. And You can embellish these any way you want, this just happens to be the way I did it. So here is the other one, and here is the third. So here they are all finished, and you can embellish them any way you want. This is just the way I chose to do it. You could always take like buttons and glue them on, that would be fun, um, any way you want. So I hope you like it. It's a little bit of an alternative for Halloween. Um, hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments below, I'd like to know which one is your favorite, if you like um, this guy with the eyes, the green one, the purple one with the eyes really close together, or the orange one with the little curly cue on top. So we will see you next time guys. Thanks again for watching and happy Halloween!